John is a chronic amphetamine user. He knows it's wrong, but he doesn't know why it's so hard to stop. Today we will explore John's brain, specifically his dopamine reward pathway. We will learn why he feels so hooked. It begins in the ventral tegmental area, or the VTA of the brain. Every time John uses amphetamine, he feels pleasure. This is caused by the brain's reward pathway, where dopamine neurons in the VTA innervate other areas of the brain. These areas include the amygdala, which is responsible for emotional control, the nucleus accumbens that regulates needs, the prefrontal cortex that is involved in decision making, and the hippocampus, which is involved in memory. Let's take a closer look at the communication going on between neurons and amphetamine use. Dopamine transporters aid in the reuptake of dopamine. Since amphetamine is lipophilic, it can cross the cell membrane with or without the help of dopamine transporters. Amphetamine then gets into dopamine storage vesicles by vesicular monoamine transporter 2, causing displacement of dopamine and release from the cytoplasm to the synaptic cleft by facilitated exchange diffusion that is mediated by dopamine transporters. Amphetamine disrupts dopamine transporters' job in reuptake of dopamine. In the absence of amphetamine, excess dopamine can be broken down by monoamine oxidase. In John's case, the high amounts of amphetamine use have inhibited monoamine oxidase. Since amphetamine has blocked dopamine transporters and monoamine oxidase from dopamine reuptake and breakdown, we are left with an overflow of dopamine in the synaptic cleft, leading to John's feelings of euphoria. As mentioned previously, without the use of amphetamine, dopamine transporters decrease dopamine in the synaptic cleft by reuptake. But in the presence of amphetamine, dopamine transporter reuptake action is blocked. In addition to this, long-term use of amphetamine causes an increase in dopamine transporters. Remember that dopamine transporters mediate facilitated exchange diffusion that results in movement of amphetamine into the vesicle and dopamine out to the synaptic cleft. The increase in dopamine transporters results in increased dopamine flow into the synaptic cleft. In addition to this, there is a decrease in dopamine receptors of the postsynaptic neuron, causing John to build tolerance needing a larger dose of amphetamine to feel the same pleasure. Decreased dopamine receptors also result in decreased activity in the prefrontal cortex. This affects John's decision-making, including self-control, emotional regulation, and motivation. John's chronic use of amphetamine has caused alterations in his behavior that include drug-seeking, amphetamine need, and highly valuing this substance despite the consequences he has had to face.